theory has it that it is impossible for a bumblebee to fly. And theory has it that it is impossible to induce more than two poles, producing one field on any single bar magnet. But theory hasn't stopped Superior Manufacturing Company from providing products that treat more than 20 billion gallons of water daily without the use of chemicals. We discovered that we could accomplish many things without chemicals by using electrolysis, magnetic fields, and what we strive to produce was something that would accomplish both. We try to have the best of both worlds in controlling scale and corrosion. And in order to do that, we had to revert to a permanent magnetic field. Water is the most frequently used medium to transfer thermal energy for some useful purpose throughout industry. Because water is a universal solvent, it dissolves everything it comes in contact with, including calcium, magnesium, and other minerals found in the earth. When these waterborne minerals are exposed to different physical influences, such as heat transfer, friction, and pressure changes, they can revert back to their natural solid state, bonding together with one another. This mineral buildup is commonly referred to as lime scale. Build up on thermal transfer surfaces will cause numerous maintenance problems, along with great loss of efficiency. With untreated water, lime scale will build up creating an insulation that requires more energy to heat or cool water to a designated temperature. Potential damage to equipment caused by formation of scale and corrosion can be very costly and, if not treated correctly, failure can occur, causing expensive downtime for repair or replacement. This, plus complying with governmental regulations and disposal of hazardous chemicals, are issues that plague engineers daily. 7.3 billion dollars of chemicals are purchased, used, and released into our air, fresh water streams, or buried in landfills throughout the United States every year. 37 percent of these chemicals are purchased by industry for control of scale and corrosion in cooling towers, boilers, and other heat transfer systems. That represents more than $2,700,000,000 of toxic waste, which contributes to trillions of gallons of contaminated water being disposed of annually someplace near where we live. Over 30 years ago, Charles Sanderson Sr. had a dream. A dream that there could be a way to control mineral deposition and corrosion without the use of chemicals. We tried electrostatic, electromagnetic, electrolysis, corrosion cells, and each one of these did have some effect, but not very long term. And as a result, we finally ended up using thermomagnetic. Thermomagnetic is a constant, electrostatic, electromagnetic. All those are a, inter a alternating current. And by using alternating currents, you cannot have a constant field. So by using a constant field, which the permanent magnetic provides, we were able to affect the outer ring of the electron in such a way that it uh, did not allow the calcium carbonate to settle out as a hard calcite scale. Instead, it formed a regnite form, which is a loose form of the calcium carbonate. Superior water conditioners magnetically change the physical characteristics of waterborne minerals, so that instead of crystallizing on heat transfer surfaces, they are suspended and flocculate out in a soft mud-like form which can be easily discharged through purging and blowdown. No scale is formed because the minerals remain in a rinsable or powdery solution. Minerals in untreated water form a hard buildup on just about any surface exposed to water. But as these beakers of superiorized water illustrate, scale is dissolved into a purgeable form so that it can be easily removed by a blowdown or other flushing means. Since the hard water minerals are heavier than water, they will settle to a low point in the system, as shown in this miniature hydrocyclone. And the solids that once had the potential to form hard, brittle scale are now rendered harmless and can be easily removed by opening a drain at the low point of the system. 
Minerals in untreated water form a hard buildup as shown on this heating element and float valve, while superiorized water only forms a light aragonite talc. These partially evaporated drops of water are magnified to the 40th power. In the evaporated area of this untreated sample, it is easy to recognize the layering of the minerals in a calcite form. The droplet of water treated by a superior water conditioner shows the minerals in a suspended state, thus forming the aragonite formation. Because there are no chemicals or additives, water purity is maintained. The molecules of waterborne minerals are quite disoriented in their natural state, making it very easy for them to attach themselves to dissimilar ends of other molecules around them. However, as water passes through the superior water conditioner, the minerals are exposed to powerful alternating magnetic fields in which the molecules take order and are realigned in a directional fashion. So the ability for the positives and negatives to attract to one another is lessened for a period of time. As superiorized water is used in process situations, the dissolved minerals still come out of solution. But because of new molecular structure, they will repel one another rather than bond tightly together. At the end of each heating season, uh, we take the boilers apart. We clean them every year. Uh, we inspect them every year. Take off the handhole covers and the manhole covers. And when I was using the chemicals, uh, there was always a buildup on those covers. And after that first heating season, using the superior water conditioner, we took the handhole covers and manhole covers off. They didn't need clean. They were just like we had cleaned them. It took four and a half years to get a patent on the multiple reversing polarity magnets because the U.S. Patent Office at first couldn't be persuaded such a thing was possible, even though the magnets were presented as evidence. I sold chemicals to a hospital not too far from here. And they were buying seven barrels of chemicals per month for the heating boilers. As a result, when I called them one time, I walked down the basement and the maintenance man was pouring chromates down the drain. He claimed that he needed the barrel to burn his trash in that night. Uh, this, I think, bothered me more than anything else. As a result, I could then, well, within a week, I turned in my resignation. There had to be a better way. Nearly every Fortune 500 company has a superior water conditioner somewhere in their operation. They are being used in 37 countries worldwide in applications ranging from coffee makers to nuclear reactors. One of the earliest superior water conditioners was sold in 1966 to a Pittsburgh plate glass plant in Baltimore. That unit is still in service today. The company uh, comes over well, every time we inspect the boiler, they come over to also look at the boiler. They service the unit uh, when it needs serviced. Uh, I say probably once a year, uh, they tear it apart, flush it out, and uh, put it back together. And as far as uh, uh, having any other problems with it, we just don't have any. It's just it's water goes through it and <laughs> does the job. Handcore uses superior water conditioners to help them conserve water and eliminate the need for costly environmental permits. A lot of our plants are rurally located. We don't have access to sanitary sewer or to city water supply. We run off of well water. Um, a couple years ago, with the drought on throughout parts of the country, we, we did find trouble running low on our well water. Our wells would actually literally run dry. We went to the superior system. We contained all the outfalls, uh, recirculated our water. We use a lot less water. I'm happy the plant managers and the maintenance people are happy with it. Chemicals aren't cheap, and the cost is ever increasing as the scale thickness in your system increases. According to data published by the University of Illinois and the Bureau of Standards, your energy cost can increase up to 70% depending on how much scale is in your system. A superior water system is a one-time cost. After installation, periodically purging of the system to remove the suspended and or precipitated solids is all that is required. Your superior system is user-friendly and will last for years, requiring only minimal maintenance.
In the last 14 years since I've installed the Superior Water Conditioner, I have used no chemicals. Uh, I've had no priming problems with the boilers. I've had no problems. I haven't had that first problem in the last 14 years with the boilers. It used to be a nightmare. In systems with existing scale or corrosion where chemicals have not been effective, a superior water conditioner will gradually dissolve the buildup, reverting it back into a purgeable solution that can be easily removed through blowdown. Uh, when you use chemicals, you've got to dispose of them somehow, and that's uh, very costly to do, and there is a long-term liability that uh, is associated with the use of chemicals. Uh, I think that's one advantage superior companies could, could possibly offer is there is not this uh, disposal problem of chemicals. Superior water conditioning systems are applicable to just about any particular need, from one gallon per hour to 50,000 gallons per minute. For years, water treatment has created problems. For years, industry has been dumping their chemically contaminated water into the environment. With superior water conditioners, these problems don't exist. Why use chemicals? We can use our superior water conditioner. We could use straight uh, river water or lake water, run it through the water conditioner. You wouldn't have the lime scale deposition. The water could be put to a holding pond and cooled or to a cooling tower, put right back into the river or the lake, uncooled. There's no question about some of the units on the market that are out there merely to make a profit. Some of these companies are in business for as little as six months. They change their name, move it to another state, and start all over again. It's very easy to take a magnet and go down and buy a 10 cent label and have it called a magnetic water conditioner. Now some of these are nothing more than steel wool and broken magnets bought as scrap shoved in a PVC pipe. But with today's technology, there's no question but what we have the very best possible for the least amount of investment. Our guarantee is that we will do as good as or better than any other present system on the market. For more than 30 years, Superior has maintained a steady flow of water conditioners penetrating the problems faced by engineers all over the world. Superior offers a full water analysis service to help determine what method they can recommend to best serve your water treatment needs. Call Superior today and be on your way to a chemical-free system and a cleaner environment it may be the last call you'll have to make because you won't have to call for chemicals any longer.